I've got something that's about to blow your mind. A leaked Diddy phone call from prison just surfaced. And Bro, I heard about this phone call. Everything. It's going to shock you. I'm I heard about this phone call. Thing. It's around two to three minutes long, know. so buckle up. Before Scraper I hit play, time. make sure to like and subscribe because I'm dropping all the updates on this case the second I get them. Stuff is leaking left and right on Twitter, and TikTok is going wild. Speaking of TikTok, I just came across the audio of Diddy allegedly hooking... I don't know if you've heard this this audio chat, but... And let me tell you, that audio... Is All right, chat. If you know what that means, you know. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely insane. I'll play that for you later. But first, let's dive into this phone call from prison where it seems like Diddy's talking to his son. Now, I've got to be real. The audio I'll edit that out. It could be the jail phone systems or something, but we're going to break down every word we can catch. The thing is, I think they're talking in code. Diddy's smart. He knows prison calls are recorded, so he's being careful not to say anything too specific about the case. You can tell yeah. he's making sure they don't know what he's really talking about. It's like he's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. We're going to piece this together bit by bit. Let's go. So here He did it though, guys. There's no denying Here's where it. things get really interesting. I'm gonna need you to get rid of all the leftover pizza boxes. And that right there is the proof in the pudding. Diddy's talking in code, and he keeps mentioning pizza and boxes separately. Now, I'm not exactly sure what those represent, but the way he's splitting them up makes it seem like pizza and boxes <coughs> are code for something. If anyone yeah, has a theory about what they sure. mean, drop it in the comments so we can break it down together. Also, quick legal disclaimer. You should know what Everything pizza means. Everything here is like, alleged. Come we're on. just reacting to something that popped up online, and we're not claiming any of this is factual. Just giving our take on it. Now, it's obvious that Diddy knew he was going in, and it seems like he had all this set up beforehand for his son. Okay, make sure you recycle the plastic. I don't know what that means. He also I don't know what that plastic, means, but... That could be code for videos or footage. Think about it. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. Drives, memory cards, those are all made of plastic. Hard drives, SD cards, they're all things that could contain some seriously sensitive information, and Diddy's telling his son to get rid of it. It all lines up with him trying to make sure certain footage disappears. Here's where well, it's crazier. Jay, reach out yet? Nah, Bob. He ghosting. What the f is this motherfucker doing? He's he sweet now because I'm in here. It's so all good. You about to get out on bail. Diddy asks if Jay reached out. Now he doesn't. I wonder who he's talking about him, there. So we can't say for sure who that is, but let's be real. We all have a guess. Whoever this Jay is. They didn't come through with what was supposed to happen. Diddy sounds frustrated, like he had a backup plan, but something fell apart. And this call definitely sounds like it was before he was denied bail for the second time, because you can tell they thought he was going to get out. There's a lot to yeah. unpack here. It's clear Diddy was expecting someone to move things behind the scenes. I don't know, man. But it didn't go as planned. I don't think you're going to get out. We don't know the exact out. timeline of this call, but it's adding more layers to the mystery. Stay tuned. There's more to come, and I'll keep dropping updates as they leak. So, there's a lot to break down here. Hey, yo, check this out. Need you to reach out to the producer. Let these motherfuckers know there's a release date for that new Netflix movie. I, Bob, it's just... Yeah. What? Dude, right you think First he's off, going to... That when Diddy mentions the Netflix... You think that's like a film he made for himself? And is just going to release it? Like, exposing a bunch of people? movie it's code for something a lot more scandalous likely a freak off videotape that That's connection what I'm is easy to piece together now as for the producer he's referencing that could be the person who's allegedly holding on to these tapes he's not spelling it out directly but it seems pretty obvious right yeah interestingly there was a lawyer going on news stations recently saying that multiple tapes were being shopped around so this phone call could have happened before that news broke with Diddy trying to subtly let people know the tapes are real and out there, ready to be dropped. It's his way of keeping yeah, people quiet, a kind of silent sure. threat. Like, hey, don't forget what's hanging over your head. You can also hear in his son King Combs' voice that he's not okay with what's happening. A lot is coming down on their family name all at once. 
and you can tell King's dealing with it. I just don't Even know why he would make the hint so he obvious, you know like what I mean? Holding back, but we know from what's being shown in the media that things are unraveling fast. What's really interesting, though, is Diddy pointing out that none of the big-name celebrities close to him over the years, people who've been all over his videos, are saying anything. Kevin Hart? Silent. Rihanna? Jay-Z? Beyonce? Nothing. That radio silence is weird, especially considering how connected yeah, they've been. Yeah, nobody's saying shit because they're vicious. involved. Does Diddy have it's obvious. on these people? He's still confident, even calling from jail, and that's always been part of Diddy's M.O., being overly confident, sometimes to a fault. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Something's definitely brewing, and the fact that these celebs are staying quiet, that's saying a lot. Chat, literally the fact that they're all being quiet shows something, right? You can't just, like, be involved in something and then be quiet about it. Like, if you weren't involved in it, don't you think you would be super vocal about it? You know what I mean? I know I'm not tripping here. I mean, if I was being blamed for something or my name was being brought up into something, I would speak out about it immediately. Keep your eyes peeled. This story's only going to get messier. Everybody out there quiet as monster, yeah, it definitely sounds like Diddy is calming his son down in this call, basically telling him not to worry about the lawsuits. He's acting like it's no big deal. Like he's oh, not no. planning on settling or you. paying anyone off. What's really strange is that clip from Mace where he mentioned that nothing is in Diddy's name, meaning people can't really sue him for much. That's pretty wild when you think about it. It's almost like Diddy set things up so he's untouchable, legally speaking. If nothing is under his name, yeah, that started it way back in the day too. For anyone to come in the nineties, financially, even with these massive lawsuits piling up, that's a classic move for someone trying to keep their assets out of reach. Smart but definitely shady. It kind of explains why Diddy's so calm in this situation, even though the pressure is mounting. He knows how he's positioned himself and that confidence you hear in his voice, it's because he feels like he's already ahead of the game, no matter what's thrown at him. This told me he want receipts. Let's start with your mother, nigga. Your mother got the receipts. Yeah, everything is in your mother's name. That's the one who got the receipts. Biggie ain't here, so Big can't give you no receipts. He dead. Craig Mack can't give you receipts. He dead. Black Rob can't give you receipts. He dead. And everybody else, you may sign paperwork so they can't talk about what I'm talking about. Uh, just yeah. What should he do about his whip, though? Man, the is you talking about? You don't see this shit I'm dealing with right now? I know. He's asking about his dad for money and shit. Check this out. Tell his light skin ass to go make a club appearance or something. Motherfucker, make some money. You 30 years old and shit. So now, Diddy Damn. seems to be going hard on his other son, Justin. I did a bit of digging and found out that Justin is actually being sued by a car company for not making his car payments, which is kind of wild. Not sure what the full well, situation is there, whether he's when the money runs not, out. But it seems like King, Diddy's other son, had to bring it up to Diddy. King seems to be pushing his dad about dropping new music again. I told him drop some music. I'm about to drop a new track this week. Everybody gonna want to hear what my sound like. Man, I'm not doing that shit. Y'all need to stay quiet. He's like, damn, dude. We got attention right now. Man, just do the f I told you to do. And don't forget about the list. Make sure that shit is f He's like, hey, go make sure. He said, go make sure. I'm taking care of first. Fuck what you got going on. That's what he just told his son. I know he dropped a diss track aimed at 50 Cent. So not only is he a weirdo. They raided Diddy's houses, but that didn't seem like the best move. He doesn't support so his why kids. Why he want to do that again is anyone's guess. What's also interesting is Diddy mentioning a list. Well, their dreams at least. Signed. The real question is, what's on this list? Is it a list of people, NDAs, contracts, maybe even life insurance policies? Whatever it is. Diddy makes it clear it holds significant value. And then there's the alleged leak of an audio clip of Diddy and Bad Bunny hooking up at a freak-off party. Obviously, nothing has been confirmed, and these are all, all right, allegations don't play the sound. floating around the internet, but it's a lot to take in. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Same as the alleged audio... We don't want that. We don't want that. Which also hasn't been verified, but That's sounded just crazy. pretty real. To add to all of this, Diddy yeah, we all know that Mark one. Anthony, J Lo's ex, Nicky Jam, and Vin Diesel that night, and yet none of them have said a word about him being locked up. 
It's interesting how quiet all these people are, considering how close they seemed to be when they were partying together. Something's definitely up. Yeah, the fact that all these celebrities are staying quiet is wild. It's like they're avoiding well, they're the whole involved. On purpose. But hey, make sure to sub and like this or they're video, scared. Because I'll be dropping one of the two, right? As soon as I get it. And who knows, I might even go live. Click here if you want to check out the insane situation involving Diddy and Miners, and I'll catch you tomorrow for another video. Stay tuned. This is just the beginning. Damn. Yeah, chat. Everything's just a little too weird surrounding that. You know what I mean? Just a little too weird. I've got something that's about I mean, to we all, we already, we already know, you know? We already know, but... Come on. Well, what can we do except sit here and watch?